out of nowhere, eh, inspector rank officer, he slapped me, not once but thrice. So I said, sir, why did you slap me? He said, where is your president? You are watching the bar, we are keeping two men. We will take you to the bar. He said, why did you tell me? I said, sir, I don't know. As soon as she, as soon as she found the contact for Hilang Shang, Hilang Shang to my phone, he, said, he directly slapped me once. And then like, I was like, uh, sir, why did you slap me? I was like, I was raising my voice to him, like, sir, why did you just slap me, sir? What did I do to And then when I, when I was raising my voice, like, uh, again, two more police officials from behind, they with like, with the can sticks, like, they started hitting me twice or, yeah. And that's... Good to us. Uh, very good evening to all. Uh, actually, Chota's issue is that, yeah, kal as as subeh, ye police log aye, police personnel log jo, uske baad mera larka log ko dam adam de de adam mar diya. So because of that we are very much sentimental hurt. To hamlo ko bhot dukh hua. To esa police giri hamlo ko nahi chahiye. We are students. We are not gunda. We are not chor. We are not dakhti. To hamlo ke ek parne ke liye aye. To hamlo ke parne ke liye ek esa mahol bana ke ek peaceful environment rehe rehe. To achanak se police aate hai aur hamlo ke larka log ko pitte hai. To hamlo ke chiz ko bhot kharaab paaye. तो हम लोग चाहते हैं कि मेरा ये चीज़ को ना ये प्रॉपर एक चैनल से ये पुलिस के काम तक जाए उसको एड्रेस करें हम लोग के इशू को तो हम चाहते हैं कि मेरा ये जो विक्टिम है वो आके अपना इशू को बताएं तो प्लीज़ मेरा ये किंतु दोस्त ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच इंदित थैंक यू फॉर कवरिंग आर इशू माई नेम इज़ गिबा रिबा आई टेल यू वाट हैपन इन द मॉर्निंग एक्चुअली इट वॉज फाइव ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग आई वॉज ओवर द फोन विथ माई फ्रेंड रिगार्डिंग द एग्जाम दैट आई वॉज गोइंग to appear in the 9.30. So, so the, I was sitting there, there in the upstairs. So one, I, I have not seen the police actually. So the, there was a huge number of police. So one, one of them called me. Oi, what are you doing? Niche ho. So I was like kind of, I would like mean to cooperate them. So I just went downstairs. They asked me, uh, did you shoot the video? I said, no, sir, I have not shoot the video, sir, I'm still on my phone, I'm talking to my friend regarding the exam. Then, uh, officer, officer of, might be SI rank, he come, he came, he came and asked me, what is your name? I said, sir, my name is Kebariba. So, he speak me in my local dialect. Then, he said, where is your president? I said, sir, I don't know. I am new in this hostel. Who is the president? I actually don't know. Then, out of nowhere, an uh, inspector rank officer, he slapped me, not once but thrice. So I said, sir, why did you slap me? He said, where is your president? You are watching the bar, we are keeping two men. We will take you there. He said, sir, I don't know. Then, he said, okay, 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 tell me something, tell me something, you don't have anything. Just, I randomly, just pronounce a room number, like I said randomly 18, sir. 18, 18 my president betta as per my knowledge. But I seriously don't know where, where is our hostel, oh, where is our RGSU president is residing here. So, if, my question to you is like, what I have done, like I have just stand there in the upstairs because there was no network in my room. Th that is why I just went upstairs. Like, why, why they slept me? This, this, this is the whole thing that ke keep, keep on resuscitating in my brain for like for whole day and I even don't able to concentrate in the exam properly. So I just want to ask this question to the Ornachal Pradesh police that if this is the policing behavior behaviors of yours then I am not wrong I'm not wrong to say that the fact that you all are not capable of doing policing. Thank you thank you very much. Uh, hello, good evening, each and everyone present over here. I'm so gr gr grateful that people are gathering here for some certain issues that happened in the morning. Like, so like, uh, like, like my friend told, it was like around 5 a.m. in the morning. Like, let me tell you the part of my story. Uh, I was just getting up and I was about to go for a run inside the campus. Like, I was putting on my shoes and all. I was trying to go for a jog actually. Like, as soon as I opened my door, like, there was some police people around here all over the precises of this hostel like there are more than around 20 I should I suppose so there was even one police personnel right in front of my room uh, he asked me like I was very shocked like what's happening actually I didn't know anything about what happened yesterday or I don't have any clue about anything that's going on around the campus 
he suddenly asks me about uh, where about about this president Hilang Sam and his other associates. I was like, uh, sir, they they are residing in this hostel. That too, I know I know for sure. But then I really don't know their room number. So like, uh, can you excuse me? I'm going out to for a joke. And then like suddenly uh, I was about to go out, and then there were even more personnel out there outside the outside the Tira residence. There were about three gypsies and one pickup truck. Okay, so uh, after that, like a person, like uh, maybe the inspector he was talking about, he must be him. Like he was having two stars drink. He he suddenly snatched my phone, and then he went through my contacts. So like Hilang Sam is my classmate. Even though we are friends, I am not related to any of this uh, RGU SU situation or anything that are they are protesting against the BC or whatever. So like as soon as he as soon as he found the contact of Hilang Sam Hilang Sam to my phone, he he directly slapped me once, and then like I was like. Uh, Sir, why did you slap me? I was like, I was raising my voice to him, like, Sir, why did you just slap me, sir? What did I do wrong? And then when I when I was raising my voice, like, uh, again, two more police officers from behind, they with like with the can sticks, like they started hitting me twice, or yeah. And that's a moment when I was like really like uh, really confused, like what's going on. So like yeah, and I came from Manipur, and I'm just came here to study, and I don't I'm not a part of any student union or any protest that they're going on. So I'm really confused right now. Like, if this happens to me, like in the morning, like police look ake, like esa karnay to, like I'm really confused. Like, what's what's the real situation, or like how 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 we wouldn't feel it confusing around, like staying around here. Uh, so uh, it left me with a very nihilism hope that like we are, I'm feeling very hopeless right now. The whole day, the mood, my my mood was all gone, and that's it. My part of my story. Thank you. Uh, you didn't say your name. My name is Pintu Nong And what time it took place? Like uh, it was early 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Thank you. So basically, I was okay. uh, like to convey that uh, because as you have already seen, my friends and my colleagues they are already in traumatized because of the today's incident. Incident uh, because it was really uh, unfortunate because I then they slapped him and someone got hit by the stick suddenly. It was very unfortunate. So Mark and I were to I mean, they were totally traumatized. So we to why did they did it to us? We are not a terrorist. We are not a gangster. We are just a student. So we are not a terrorist. So we are not a gangster. We are just a student. So we are not a terrorist. We are just a student. Written apology and a verbal apology, but at the same time, they, they must also give an explanation to us. Because if you argue that it's a peaceful environment, if you come here, and if you argue that you don't have a hostel, here you have the so boys with them. If a girl is killed, if a girl is killed, then behind her are ten brothers, ten brothers behind her. So ten brothers will ask you a response. And if you have ten brothers, if you have ten brothers, if you have less than that, then tomorrow you will have a police station, Dwimuk police station, the entire RGU students will have a police station, and you will have a drama and cutting movement. So if you have less than 100 people, then you will have thousands of people. So you will have to give them. That's why I'm saying that you have a written apology and a verbal apology. We will not give you a lot of demand. Thank you. So are you a hostel captain or something? No sir, I'm not a hostel captain. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Overall, in charge of this hostel only. Yeah, don't 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 know who is RGSU member. No sir, they both are just a normal student. Okay. So they are not actively participate in union since joining this college. Yeah, so okay. any search warrant or something else did they show before? Uh, no sir. Search? No search warrant. They just came out of nothing. Out of nowhere. Yes. yes sir. Sir, regarding the issue, why? Because you have given the authority to complain. If you have done, then you have response. Sir, the authority has not given the authority. We have tried to talk to them, but. We are not in any condition right now. They are we will reply neither am looking sir. At least you have a hostel warden yes up out there. Yes, sir. Hostel warden we said that it was thai in the hostel. And they came to know about this police and whole incident through us only. Police are not market chalagi and later on we also came to know early morning as an incident. And then we reported to the warden, sir. Then warden sir never security in charge and later on he gave us a security in there. But security ka kya kaam hai? We asked to him, security ke kya kaam hai after all this incident happened? Hamlo mar ka chuke, abhi security ka kya kaam hai? Ye warden se hamlo ka seedha jawalta hai actually.